A team of technical experts on board the British Royal Air Force A400M aircraft have arrived at the Thiruvananthapuram International Airport to assess the stranded F-35B fighter jet. Airbus is considering a proposal from the Indian Civil Aviation Ministry to establish a final assembly line in India. India and Argentina have agreed to ramp up cooperation in defense critical minerals pharmaceutical energy and mining sectors. Pakistan Air Force Chief has sought the AIM-120D Amram from US for its F-16 Block 52 fighter jets, that has a officially stated range of 160 km, while the estimated real-world effective range is around 180 to 200 km. Indian Navy is all set to place orders for six additional P-8 I maritime patrol aircraft, and interestingly, the P-8I can also be armed with the Air Laura missile, that will give them capability of striking naval and land target at ranges exceeding 450 km. The Indian Army will receive its first batch of three Apache attack helicopters by 15 July, with the remaining three Apaches arriving by November 2025. India has blocked Global Times and TRT World on Twitter, which are the prime propaganda outlets of China and Turkey known for anti-India disinformation reporting. A former CIA counter-terrorism operative who served in Pakistan has claimed that Pakistan's nuclear arsenal is effectively under the command of an American general. Reports of a possible India-Greece LRLACM missile has triggered significant tension in Turkey. Executive Director of Solar Industries has said that Saudi Arabia, Vietnam and Indonesia are in talks to acquire the guided Pinnacle rocket system. The DRDO is undertaking the fabrication of four sets of two-dimensional air intakes for the Astra Mark III ramjet engine, marking a critical step in the ongoing development of India's most advanced air-to-air -air missile. Pune-based Artiman Aerospace has successfully completed demonstration trials of its canister-launched loitering UAV with the Indian Army's Infantry Directorate. Hal Chief has said that the supply chain issues affecting the Su-30 fighter jets have been resolved, with regular coordination with Russian suppliers, ensuring a steady flow of critical components. Armenia is in talks with India to integrate the indigenous Astra Mark 1 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile into its fleet of four Su-30 SM fighters, replacing the Russian R-77 missile. Armenia has also shown interest to integrate the 160 km range Astra Mark 2, which is slated for series production next year. The DRDO is developing a next-generation heavyweight torpedo with a range of 150 km, that will use new propulsion technologies to overcome limitations of battery-powered electric motors, offering greater speed and endurance. It will also feature advanced guidance systems, integrating real-time targeting data from maritime patrol aircraft and satellites to enhance precision over long distances. The Indian Air Force is set to boost the electronic warfare capabilities of its Su-30 fleet by integrating the advanced Scorpius Escort Jammer. Developed by Israel's Elta Systems, the Scorpius Escort Jammer can suppress enemy radars and create a safe corridor for aircraft formations. Unlike the Scorpius Self-Protection Jammer on the Tejas Mark 1A which protects individual aircraft, the Escort Jammer variant provides escort jamming for entire strike packages, by detecting jamming and deceiving multiple radar threats simultaneously. The K-6 hypersonic intercontinental submarine launched ballistic missile is currently under development at the Advanced Naval Systems Laboratory in Hyderabad, will have a speed of Mach 7.5 and a range of 9,000 km, and can even a maximum 12,000 km with a lighter payload and 6 MERV configuration. The K-6 missile is specifically designed for deployment aboard three S-5-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, that will begin production by 2027, and each S-5 SSBN will accommodate 16 K-6 missiles, creating a formidable sea-based nuclear deterrent platform. Today's Top 3 Comments